Good evening. Thanks for watching WCCO as we stream on CBSN Minnesota. After 20 months of a global pandemic, day-to-day -day life is inching back to normal. But inside Minnesota hospitals, it is a much different story. The state says so many COVID patients are filling hospitals that only 46 ICU beds are available right now. The federal government is sending medical teams to help at Hennepin Healthcare in Minneapolis and St. Cloud Hospital. But as Aaron Hassan Zadeh reports, this crisis can be easy to ignore outside hospital walls. Could have beaten this. The CDC says COVID-19 is spreading faster in Minnesota than anywhere else in the country. It scares me. But it doesn't always feel that dire when you're out of the mall or grocery store, caught up in the holiday hustle. I really believe that we have gotten, uh, people have gotten more comfortable. We have a grandson that plays hockey and we go, I've gone to his practices and nobody wears a mask. Maybe we should have expected it with people not wearing masks, not taking uh, precautions. For North Memorial COVID ICU nurse Mary Turner, that disconnect is alarming. All 13 beds are, are COVID again. Uh, looks just like it did a year ago, you know, in December when before we had the vaccine. I don't know if people want to hear it anymore. The nurses uh, at times are feeling discouraged on a floor like mine. Now there's ample PPE and vaccines, but there are fewer nurses, Turner says, and just as many final goodbyes to her patients. It leaves a mark on your soul. It really does. It's real for Audrey Murray, too. Her brother just survived a breakthrough case. Well, it's very scary for me. He was in the hospital for about four weeks. I feel like we need to be more serious to take a look at this again. It's going to take everybody pulling together to, to get over this. Wishing the pandemic away is not going to do it. A doctor I spoke with today says it's time to be thoughtful about what you're doing, even if you're fully vaccinated. So that means masking at crowded places like grocery stores or restaurants and testing before you go to an event that is unmasked. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News.